I thought you were meant to be helping your mother. It's not my engagement party. We're a family. Come on, we pull together. Yeah, we'll go in there and pull them apart because they're giving me a headache. Well, come on. It can't be that bad, surely. No, no, no. No way. Maybe I'll just wait here with you. I am not wearing that tomorrow. It's yellow. I don't do yellow. You do gold. Gold, yes. Not yellow. I look like a... Uh... Daffodil? Mm -hmm. A duck. Exactly. I look like a duck. Look like a duck. Mm. That is ridiculous. You know, it is tradition for the mother-in-law to choose the bride's engagement party outfit. Well, we could skip that. I've got a fantastic outfit. You'll love it. <clears throat> Item 12. Decorations. What decorations? See, Auntie Shama is lending me the most beautiful backdrops. They'll add great atmos. You said this would be simple. If I can't make a fuss of my number one son, then what can I do? No way. I want a modern party, not one from 1978. I'm going to have to consult Frank. Uh, Christian is not in charge of this engagement party. Well, maybe he should be. We don't have to involve him in everything. I think we can organise a party, don't we? We haven't finished yet. I'm going to be late for work. Uh, I don't think so. Item 13. <gasps> Napkins. Thank you. You have to get me out of here. I'm sorry, Mr. Ahmed. Ah. Do you remember delivering this? I've delivered 546 letters this morning. No, but this one doesn't have a postmark. I mean, surely you would have noticed that. Yeah, well, maybe I should dust it for fingerprints. It doesn't matter. I'm sorry, Libby, that was a joke. It's Libby's birthday today, Dad. Oh, well, happy birthday, Libby. Yeah, so maybe I could take her up for a coffee or something. Oh, there's hair everywhere. Someone's molting and it is not me. Well, it's not me. Right, in, you two. The house won't clean itself. Well? It's Libby's birthday today. Oh, happy birthday, Libby. Now, if you'll excuse us, we really are rather busy. Wrong! I thought I told you not to call me that. My engagement party. I need your help. Hang on a minute. I agreed to help out with the wedding. Nobody mentioned anything about an engagement I party. I know, but it's going to be a disaster. Really? We're talking floor cushions, plastic goblets, and coordinating outfits. So extra. You're funk. People may think they're your ideas. Amira, I can't, all right? I'm just I'm not too... talking about you organising it, silly. I'm talking about you passing on some of your impeccable good taste. You're good. Do you know that? Talk later. Please. Pretty please. Go on, then. <laughs> Christian's agreed to work his magic. I'm so happy. <laughs> what? You just can't help yourself. You have to stick your nose in. That's not fair. She asked. In fact, she pleaded. Yeah, I bet you loved that. I bet you bit her hand off. Do you really think I want to help organise your engagement party? I think you want to grab any opportunity you can to tell me I'm making a mistake, that I'm a hypocrite. It's got nothing to do with me. You've made your decision. I have. And I chose her. Let me get this clear. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want anything to do with you. Tomorrow, the party, you're not welcome. Believe me, it is the last place I want to be. That Amira can say what she wants to about the party, but nobody, but nobody tells me what to do with the food. Ah, Karai Ghosh is on nice and low, thank you. Said, I will see you in 15 minutes, all right? Don't be late. I know. We have a very important visitor coming over. Yeah, you said. <laughs> Several times. And you, don't be late. I know, I know. So, I was thinking, gold and cream. Simple, tasteful. Amira, about tomorrow, I... I can't come. <laughs> Don't be so extra. Of course you're coming. Sorry, babe. I've double booked myself. But you're my Frank. I can't. Sorry. Oh. And what exactly is more important than my engagement party? Marriage is an act of worship and obedience to Allah, who commands the husband and wife to respect and love each other. But I want to know what you think it's about. What's important to you? Imam Ali, if I may contribute first, um, just share my experience. Of course, sister. Oh, um, I've made a list. <clears throat> and finally, I believe that a wife should always check that her husband is presentable. Has he brushed his teeth? Has he done his trousers up? I mean, these things are important. And I think you'll find that Masood agrees with me. <laughs> yes. Yes, absolutely, 100%. Very 
thorough. Maybe I could hear from the couple. It's simple. All I want is someone on my side. Someone I know I can trust, who'll love me, no matter what life throws at us. Yes. Yes, absolutely. A man and wife should support each other, forgive each other's mistakes. The way I see it, it's about integrity. A man and his wife must have integrity with each other. And if you do, oh, inshallah, this will be a good marriage. Would you excuse me? It's normal to be anxious about these things, you know? Before I married your mother, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't hold anything down. See that? Means I'm a happy man. I'm not right for her. She's... She's gorgeous. You punched above your weight, clearly. It's a joke. It's a joke. So she adores you. Of course she's right for you. You're doing the right thing, Saeed. You're taking responsibility. You're committing. I'm proud of you. You've never said that to me before, Dad. Ever. Well, I am. I'm very proud of you. Saeed, you and Amira are made for each other. Hey? So, what's your marriage advice? Right, well, I'm glad you asked me that. <clears throat> this is the only advice you'll ever need. People talk a lot about honesty in marriage. It's very overrated. You just tell your wife what she wants to hear, and then you do what you want. Quietly, and everyone's happy. Trust me. Just give me two minutes, yeah? Ah, hey. oh, Saeed, did you sort out that thing? That the, the thing you had to do? Urgently? Amira. I am going to be the best husband you could ever have on my life. I will never let you down. Never. Come on quickly, everyone. Um, Imam Ali, up here, Ajana, in the middle. Thank you. Okay, happy faces, everyone. On Tamar. Shall we do? Okay. Yeah. So, so you would say it. Yes, Thank you. You left this at the unit. Thought you might need it. You should be there tomorrow. It won't be the same without you. You won't even notice. Of course I will. Said said you you didn't think it was important. Really? You know what? I'll cancel my mate. You're right. I should be there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>